from Generation Strength and welcome to day 26 of the 30 day Strength From Home workout challenge where we're working out every single day for 30 days. Today we've got upper body workout, we're going to be doing 6 exercise, 5 strength based then with a minute rest and we're going to be doing 3 rounds in total. So join me in the middle of that, we'll get right into it. Feet pointing forward, side to side, rotations, keep the hips forward. Going through the full range of motion, swinging my arms to the left and to the right as far as I can go while keeping the hips square so I'm not rotating from side to side, coming in on the foot. Nice and slow, chest up, make yourself tall. From here we're going to go down into a squat, we're going to sweep the floor. As I come down I take my hips back. Keep the weight on the heel as I come down, pushing my knees out to the side. Nice and slow, going down as low as you can, going up as high as you can. I keep my chest up as I come down. Try not to bend forward, pointing the chest to the floor. Last one, hold it at the top switch positions. So we're rotating in the opposite direction. Again, taking the hips back as if I'm sitting down on a chair, keeping the knees out. Extending the arms above my head as I come up. Now we're going to take the feet wide and we're going to go into squats. Extend the arms above your head. So here we're getting a little bit deeper into the hips, opening up the hips. So as I come down, my knees are out and then I'm pushing off the heels as I come up. Sit back, chest up, looking forward and then driving the arms up above the head. Now I'm going to go down to downward dog, centre of the mat, bring the feet back, bend the knees a little bit. So that your back is straight from here. I'm taking the right foot out to the outside of my hands, so opening up the foot, opening up the hips, pushing the knee out. So I'm pushing the knee out with my elbow, I'm rotating my other arm. Following my thumb, rotating my head round as my arm goes back. Nice, slow, controlled movement through the full range of motion so we can get a nice stretch on the shoulder. Pressing the front knee out so we can open up the hip, stop here, go back, high plank to downward dog, bend the knees. Now I'm bringing the left foot through, pushing the foot out to the side, knee out to the side. Rotating round so my back foot is flat. As I come up, I'm pulling my arm back so that I can stretch the chest. Nice and slow, sweeping the floor on the way back through. Back to down the dog. So from here I'm going to walk my hands to my, walk my feet to my hands or I'm going to jump them. Come up nice and slow, keep the back straight. Leg swings can be applied on the glute. Nice and controlled movement. Up fast and go a bit slower on the way back. Just so you feel it in the glute, not in the lower back. Keeping neutral spine at the back. Looking straight ahead, tucking the chin back and in. Take your leg as high as you can. Again, nice and controlled. Switch sides. My leg goes back, I feel it in my glute and then I take my leg forward. I don't want to be swinging too much and getting too much extension. Just enough that I feel it in the bum. Last move of the wall, we've got ankle flexibility, so I'm coming close to the wall. Foot down, taking my knee out towards the little toe. Relax the front toes, keep the heel pressed to the floor, let the heel come up. Make sure 
sure that you're almost touching the wall, but you're not completely touching it all. Otherwise, we're not going to get to that end range of motion. We want to warm the ankles up. Switch sides. So same again, keeping the heel down and I'm taking my knee to the center of my foot or out to the little toe. Don't want to bring it over the big toe. One more. Okay, quick water break, then we'll go right into it. So six exercise, five strength base. One is gonna be a hinge move to help open up the shoulders and stretch the back. We've got 45 seconds on, a 15 second rest in between each exercise. The first exercise we've got is an eccentric push-up. So it's a little bit easier than the regular push-up, so we're gonna be trying to go on our feet as opposed to on our knees. So I'm going with gravity, so it is a little bit easier. From here I'm coming down, nice and slow. Touching the floor, coming on the knees, and coming back up. It's easier because we're going with gravity. We're doing the eccentric part of the move. So usually it's the pushing up part that's hard, that's why most of us have to start with doing push-ups on the knees. But with the eccentric move, it's a little bit easier. You're just slowing down the rate of falling onto the mat. So I come down, I tuck my chin, so that my chin touches the floor first. You don't want to be leaving with your head. Okay, so retract the chin back. I want to keep the elbows in, so I don't want them to flare out. From here we've got Y and T, so we're going to help open up the shoulder, work the upper back, so you're going to lie on your front, squeezing the bum. From here I'm going to take my arms up into a Y, so I'm making a Y with my thumb, I'm going back down, I'm going up again, and I'm taking my arms out to the side, so now I'm a T. And now back forward to Y. As I come up, I squeeze the bum, bring the chest up slightly, but I'm focusing on squeezing my shoulder blades together. Important that you're not shrugging the shoulders forward, try to relax the shoulders, but pulling them up at the same time. Bringing the chest slightly off the mat. We're doing two, and then two. From here we've got tabletop bridge with reach. So, hands out to the side, I'm up in a tabletop, I'm going to come across my body and I'm going to reach over. So I'm fully rotating to the side, I'm reaching up. Again, just walk as high as you can, if you can only come to here, don't add in the final rotation part. So I'm just, I can even just come from side to side on my hands or I can hold the bridge in this position. So as I come up, my hips are down, and drive the hips up into the air as I come across, making sure to only be high that I'm squeezing my bum and I'm not putting my hips up into the air and engaging my lower back. I want to be working the arms and the glutes, driving through the heels as I come up, From here we're going to go into wall slides. So we're going to open up the thoracic spine. Two options you can either do is standing, or we can come down, bum against the wall, and come up. This one just allows us to get a little bit of a hip stretch. I wouldn't say that one is more challenging than the other, it just depends on what you prefer. So stand, or be here with the legs apart. Taking the knees wide. Everything's in contact with the wall, my lower back, mid back, upper back and head. So make sure that your lower back's against the wall. So you want to press right into it. And going up. Up enough that your lower back is still in contact with the floor. 
If it's not, we're using low back to get extension up, we're not using the thoracic spine, so we're not getting the most out of the exercise. From here, we're going to go to single leg tricep dip. So, same tricep dips that we've done, we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. Hands facing the same way as the foot. And I'm going to come down and do a tricep dip. So here I'm working my glute. I'm also getting a nice stretch on the hamstrings. Basically, if I put it a little bit higher, or we can put it in line with the feet. We're going to switch feet right about now, so I'm going to come on the other side. Doing the one legged tricep dip, we're just adding a little bit of a balance component. We're also making the glute work a little bit harder. If it's a little bit too difficult for you, come on to the two leg, push up and down, bending the elbow and straightening to hit the triceps, the back of the arm. Ooh. Okay, now we're going to go into a hinge. So we're going to do this for one minute. You're going to bring your hands above the wall and you're going to come down. So here you can see that my knees are slightly bent and my arms are above and I'm pulling my shoulder blades down. So we're going to do this for one minute. This is our rest period. Okay, so from the side, my back is nice and straight. And I'm feeling a nice stretch here on my lats, on my mid back, a little bit on my lower. If I stick my bum back a little bit, I can feel it on the back of my legs, on my hamstrings. Keeping my head up, I don't let your head drop down. Push-ups. If you need to do the push-up on your knees, you can. Remember, we're just going to slow down. The eccentric face is the lowering part. So if we do it on our knees, we're going to bring the body weight forward, squeezing the bum. Don't let the lower back sag. And I come down one, two, three, and then I come back up. So it's down nice and slow and control. If you have to stop at the bottom, reset and push-up. You can. Keeping the elbows in. So remember your chin should touch the mat before your forehead. Going back down, keeping the elbows in. And up. otherwise, we want to be up in the standard push-up position. Flap at the bottom. Reset. Down as slow as you can. Y-T-W, so again, I'm going out to a Y, and then I'm taking my hands to the side to do the T's. I'm doing two Y's, two T's. So engage the bum, make the back flat. Up. Now we're taking it straight out to the T. Back to the line, moving the arms forward. Come up, bring the chest slightly off the mat. You shouldn't feel this that much in the lower back if you are. Chances are you're arching a little bit too high. So just think about hovering on the mat and just lifting the arms up, not so much moving the chest. Try and engage the mid back, okay, not the traps on the front. People have a tendency to shrug their shoulders. They come to the right, so put a lot of pressure on the neck. So try to keep the shoulder blades down. Exercise 
while working the upper body and working the glutes. Down into wall slide, so I'm going to sit, open up the hips, again make sure the lower back and the whole posterior chain is touching the wall, my neck is touching the wall, my head. Take the arms down to 90 degrees. I go up enough that I can feel my range of motion but my lower back is still on the floor. You might find that you can only get to here. That's fine, just work with the range of motion that you've got. You might need to add some foam rolling into your exercises and some soft tissue work, maybe a massage ball on the back of the shoulders and on the traps. Foam roll will really help to extend the thoracic spine, which is the issue with why you can't get the hands very far above the head. Single leg tricep dips, so hands facing the feet. I'm going to keep the hips down, and down, so this is my modified version. I want to make it a little bit more challenging for the core and for balance it can bring the leg up. Go as fast or as slow as you need to. Keep the shoulders back. We're going to try not to rotate the shoulders forward and you're in this position. Shoulders back, back muscles engaged, opening up the chest. So now I'm switching sides on the other leg. Keep the shoulders back, really feel back of the arm. Now we have our rest, we're hinging at the wall so the back is straight. Putting the hands above. Bending the knees. on the wall as I'm pushing my arms up and I'm pushing my shoulders down to the ground. That way I feel it in my shoulder blades, feel it coming down the side of my torso. My back is nice and flat so try not to round it, try not to overextend it and put the head up. Nice neutral back, nice and flat back. One more round. Starting with push ups. So remember, on feet position. If you want to do one, two, three, four, do as many as you can with your feet up, proper push up position. And then when you need to, because you're tired, then you can come down to the knees. So I'm tucking the chin down. So I want to rest now like I've done my three o'clock, doing it one to knees, crossing knees, squeezing the bum, coming down, down, slow, down, stop, push back up. So my whole body comes down as a line. Nothing should touch the ground before any other body part. My hips, my chest and my chin all touch at once. That way we know that the low back's not sagging, that you're engaging the core. Lion T's for the back. So we should feel this in the mid back, not so much in the traps. So think shoulders back and then up for the line. Some pointing up from here, I'm just taking my arm straight up to the side. To the tea. Coming up, squeezing my bum. Make sure you relax the whole back. Try not to arch too much. Keep the hips down. Neutral leg. If I bring my neck up as I'm doing it, I'm going to get a little bit more tension. So make a double chin. And again, movement comes from the scapula, from the shoulder blades. 
Come the middle back. Tabletop position, we're doing a rotational reach. So our hands are out to the side. So pushing off the heels, rotating. As I come up, I drive through the glutes and then I move the hand over. So it's one motion as I switch from one hand to the other. Make sure as you come up, you keep the joints stacked. So I'm coming up and my wrist is under my shoulder. That way the joints are protected, you're not going to get wrist pain, you're not going to get shoulder pain. That is when the joints are at the strongest, when they're stacked over the other joints. So I come up and I'm squeezing this glute as I reach. Too much, keep a nice neutral back position. Okay, that's it. Last upper body workout complete. I will see you tomorrow. We've got core and glutes, then we've got a nice, easy last two days with mobility and PNF stretching. I will see you tomorrow.